Other parts of Africa, uh, South Africa is reeling from a week of looting, arson and other forms of violence. It was sparked by last week's jailing of former President Jacob Zuma and more than 200 people have been killed. Now, President Cyril Ramaphosa uh, has come out to say the violence was intentionally instigated. Take a listen. This moment depicts the current situation in parts of South Africa. A young child thrown down from the upper floors of a burning building by its mother. A number of other buildings have been set on fire including malls and warehouses, many of which have been looted. The violence erupted last week after the jailing of former President Jacob Zuma, and the current president, Cyril Ramaphosa, believes it was deliberately provoked. Yes, ordinary citizens have uh, felt that they need to defend, to defend their areas, to defend their assets, and we welcome, we welcome the fact that ordinary citizens are working together with the security forces, are uh, standing up not only to defend their own assets, but they're also defending our democracy because they can see that this is an assault on the democratic uh, situation that we have in our country. So they are standing up and we applaud that that our people themselves see that there's a lot at stake and uh, the instigators want to spread instability in the country and uh, we don't know what their full and true intentions are. The looting and arson have destroyed hundreds of businesses and the South African government has deployed 25,000 soldiers to restore peace. Meanwhile, the death toll in the unrest has been put at 212 as at Friday. 95 more than the figure a day earlier. The editor and publisher of the Pan-African Newswire, Abayomi Azekiwe, is joining us on News Now. Hello, good evening. Hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. And you? Fine. Mr. Abayomi Azekiwe, uh, let's take uh, a critical look at this. Uh, what do you make of all this? Well, it's um, partly uh, sparked uh, by an internal conflict within the ruling African National Congress. Uh, President, uh, former President Zuma had to leave office early at the end of 2018 uh, due to allegations of corruption. Uh, he still has a lot of support uh, within the ruling party. Uh, nonetheless, uh, he has gained a lot of unpopularity among the uh, general population. Uh, he has been a subject of an investigation uh, by the Zondo Commission, uh, which is a commission that, in fact, uh, was uh, approved by his administration uh, several years ago when he was president. And he has uh, refused uh, to answer certain questions before the Zondo Commission. Uh, he walked away from the commission and then uh, he was taken to the Constitutional Court, which he is also a co-architect of, along with Nelson Mandela, Cyril Ramaphosa, the current president, former president Thabo Mbeki, and others uh, some 30 years ago. And uh, they took him to the Constitutional Court. He was found in contempt of court and uh, was ordered to serve 15 months in detention. Uh, some of his supporters uh, went to his compound in Nakanla, uh, in uh, KwaZulu-Natal region, a uh, province of South Africa, saying they were going to set up a human shield around his residence. Eventually, he did hand himself in to the authorities uh, to serve out his term. That began with protests against his detention, but unfortunately, uh, it has deteriorated into a situation which is damaging uh, the South African economy as well as the entire region of the Southern African Development Community.
uh, through uh, the widespread looting in two provinces and also uh, arson attacks on uh, business interests, on uh, factories, uh, warehouses, and other establishments uh, in those two provinces, Tang and uh, KwaZulu-Natal. Uh, the other remaining provinces, uh, some seven other provinces in South Africa have remained relatively calm uh, over the last uh, week. Uh, so this is a situation that the government is trying to get control of. Uh, President uh, Cyril Ramaphosa today visited KwaZulu-Natal. Uh, he spoke to people there, he held a press conference and uh, he said he's committed to stabilizing the country uh, to bring uh, things back in order. Mr. Abayo Miyazikiwe, uh, I wish we had more time to go on and on. Uh, but then, in the coming days, as events unfold, we'll still have to come back to you uh, for more analysis. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.